Tom Page from Springfield Tech Music College. I can fill in a little bit for my colleague, uh, Kermit Dumbledore from Hollywood Bank, because we've worked collaboratively on Career 101. We have um, been working with Career 101 as well as WorkKeys um, for a long time out in Western Mass, long time being decade. Um, both community colleges are certified testing centers for ACT already. Um, I would say between the two community colleges administer somewhere around 1,200 to 1,800 individuals annually in work keys. Um, we started using it a little bit more strategically, not just for an industry assessment, but for a workforce assessment about a year and a half to two years ago. Um, because we didn't have the availability yet of the Career 101 license, we used the comparable work keys uh, NCRC. We used it as a baseline intake tool into our customer service and our manufacturing programs for about 200 people, I think, between the two. I'm looking at Christine because she knows better. About 200 people. Um, it really was used as a screen in tool. We used the three um, CRC tools, reading, locating information, and mathematics, um, and also tested a couple other modules with listening and business writing as well. Um, you know, we found it is playing to kind of two values, one being the value of getting a good baseline to be able to inform our instructors. Two, as we had situations where we had grant funded or scholarship funded uh, opportunities, it allowed us again to use it as part of a selection process or an admissions process. Now that we're over onto Career 101, and I'm not spending $50 per person anymore, we're very, very excited and thankful. Um, you know, our goal is to build it into to two tracks. One, all individuals that will come over to, for non-credit workforce related training at the college will either come from our Career One stop with the Career 101 or when they get to us through our navigator will be routed to have the Career 101. Starting in January, our CNA programs, our uh, phlebotomy programs, our IT programs that are short-term training programs, our electrical program, our production tech program will all be looking to use it as a baseline for abilities. Um, our home health aid program is the other way. There's one more. Our goal there, at least for the next six months, is really, again, to be able to inform individuals, introduce individuals to the tool, use it as part of an intake process. Um, we hope, as some of those have corresponding curriculum, <laughs> as math and our manufacturing production tech that will start to adopt those learning modules as well. Um, we also are looking at the potential of integrating it into a customer service program that we're running as a um, what we call a fast track program, but a condensed delivery of credit program, um, perhaps in the springtime to use the math, math modules to accelerate learning. What I think we've found from our employer's perspective is that when they know you're using a tool that validates that those baseline abilities, over time they start to recognize that <coughs> as having additional value to them. Um, we've also found it does give, when we have used the career readiness certificate, kind of as the out part of the process, that giving people another credential that our employers are starting to recognize has been uh, an important tool. Um, the other thing that I would note is that we do have an agreement with our employer that we will adopt um, career readiness in a crosswalk um, for uh, work with MGM. So all individuals, the 3,000 people, will move through um, in the next 18 to 30 months will all be scored using Career 101 and it will align to the workforce training programs for the gaming industry in Western Mass. We're having a similar discussion with Wynn 
but it's not as far along. They've agreed, but we have a buck work through it. So one of the things we're doing is trying to inventory all the careers and build the crosswalks between the Career 101 scores and the NCRC scores. I have Philip a question. Northeasterner. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean the pretests in Career Ready 101? Yes. Okay. Yes, the pretests. So that's what we've been up to. It might not sound like much, but we've been at it a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, have, we have, do have a team with uh, working with George at looking at it embedded in our career um, pathways program in our adult basic ed side. Uh, and I'll, I'll just give a little update for Kermit. He'll, he'll walk in just as I finish, I'm sure that's the way it goes. We also use Career 101 for a hospitality grant this summer to try some of those modules. Um, we used the reading modules. Uh, as part of that grant, again, as an intake process, our observation was that over time, we're curious how that's going to correlate to people's ability to be successful on TIP certification and other certifications, the ability to read, uh, leading to those secondary certifications. So I think Bob Griffin probably put 80 to 100 people through that uh, this summer. Um, with a lot of success. Um, I think our goal was to just kind of pilot it and see how we could do on the first time around. So that's another area where we're trying to build that out, is trying to align it to secondary certificates and making sure that people who are coming, whether it's OSHA or whether it's TIPS or ServeSafe, that they have the proper baseline tools to be successful. So that's a, what I've got. That's a you want any questions at the end? Questions um, we'll do questions from everybody at the end, but I'm going to privilege myself with okay. some clarifying <laughs> questions now. So if I understood you correctly, Bob, you're saying that you used the reading module really as the remediation for helping people prepare for those content. Yeah, just really much more of the reading module to get a baseline on abilities, mm -hmm. not for a long remediation at this uh -huh. stage. I think that's the next stage. Got it. Okay. So at this point, if somebody didn't have the scores you were looking for to get into the workforce program, would they use the tools to... That will be the goal, is that, that they'll, they'll then get referred. Well, an example of if you're um, going to come into our production tech and you don't have the main math skills, because that's been, is built into our curriculum, then the goal will be to adopt it into our curriculum. If you need additional remediation, then you can be routed to one of our uh, tutoring or an open lab be able to do self-paced assessment. That's the goal long term. Kind of like some people here might use a similar tool for active laser improvement. You know, we're looking to do that similarly. And I'm looking for a crosswalk for the active laser. So if anybody's got one, I'm still looking. So, so everybody is, and I will just say no, now I that mean, um, not alone. You no, know, right. Everybody is, and part of my job was to find some of those, and they don't exactly exist. They certainly aren't validated, but even where People say they use them when I ask for something that I could share, that there's nothing concrete. I do have one call still in to a bridge program and said that they used them for acuplacer and remediation, so I will definitely share my information when I get it. Um, my second question is about, <clears throat> excuse me, about what you were saying about MGM. Um, were, was it, did you say MGM was agreeing to look at NCRC scores? As, no, you? with two, two things. One, they'll have a portal that will allow the intake into their human resource, I need to describe this just the right way. They'll have a portal that will allow intake into their career advising. There's a life which you should do. Within that, an individual puts their background information and they'll have a carve out in there electronically where you can post your NCRC or your CRC base at school. And that will be considered a credential in their hiring process. If you are enrolling in the gaming-related training programs, so if you want to be surveillance, if you want to be a dealer, if you want to be a slot technician, those will be considered in the admissions process to those programs, the funding of those programs. Great, thank you. Um, you know what, since Kermit isn't here yet, and we have some time until he gets to, we'll, we'll go on with Irene. Are there questions specifically for Bob? I don't want you to lose track of them or lose a place with them if you have questions now about the employer piece or the 
baseline, use of the pre-assessments for baseline. How yeah, sure. easy was it, or not easy was it, to um, connect with MGM in terms of... <laughs> We've been at it with MGM for at least three years, probably closer to four, um, to get agreement on the process um, really wasn't too bad, but there's other nuances to it, like aligning to the posting of jobs onto the state website for the career one-stop state, and it's kind of inter intertwined. But from the very beginning, it was advocacy of using some type of agreed tool for a baseline assessment for their employees. Um, so it's it's been a while, but it's been recently where we've been able to start to map. We have their top 42. I, mean, yeah, I think that's the number. We've agreed with them whether the top 42 hiring areas and been able to map with them the career 101 scores and the NCR C score. So we'll have a great baseline for all those top 42 positions. So they've been great to work with. It's just been a slow process. Yeah. Are you working with the job profiler, like from the ACT, or are you just doing it from the job ONET through we're, the portal? We're working through the ONET scores and okay. then the work scores. Yeah, we're not going to profile all those jobs. They've been, they've, every job that they have in their database is already profiled. Okay. They're not very specific. They're not more specific than No, there's... Yeah. Yeah, and the gaming occupations were profiled uh, when we, so I'm going to see, it was probably uh, three or four years ago when I worked with Don Carson from ACT and they had profiled a bunch down in Louisiana. So we felt the database was okay. We didn't want to re profile on no. Is there any, I don't think there's a lot of people profiling anymore. Just, I think a lot of people are adopting what's in the database. Oh. It's not like today's in the past when everybody profiled. <laughs> 